I'm gonna do a quick video while I'm holding it in my hand because I gotta show two different screens. And hopefully the stability is not shaking it as much as it is in my hand. But anyway, uh, the first change that I notice is when you use a plugin and then say you use that plugin and you record that pl plugin. So say you recorded that plugin, but now you want that plugin to be on another track. Um, if you duplicate the track, you've just created another instance of st st stage piano. And then when you go to record on that one, say you record some notes on that, MIDI notes on that one, and then you duplicate it again, you've just filled your memory. Whereas the behavior on the old one would be you create the one plugin, you use it, and then if you go to another track, you can use it again and again, that same one instance, okay? No problem. Now, there's a feature in here uh, that I rarely use um, in the MIDI where it says send to, but I would usually use that to combine two different plugins together. Um, two different plugins together. Uh, but on the new software, what you're going to do is on the new software, we're just going to go to menu, new project, don't save. Load up, new project. On the new software, that's gonna be your go-to if you wanna use the same instance multiple times. So you create your, it's gonna take a little while to load. Here we go. So what you're gonna do is go to new track, create a new MIDI track, and then you're gonna open this up, go to IO, hit send to, select that plugin, close that back up, give it a name, close that up, and now, Now you can use multiple instances without killing your resources. So I thought I'd make a quick video on that. I know I watch a whole bunch of videos on these, this new software. I don't think anybody mentioned that. Um, so I thought I'd mention that for anybody that uh, want to use that feature. Um, 